things I pick up and I know. I'm getting set up. Everybody's getting set up. But I had one customer already. First customer. Not even nine o'clock. He brought me this uh Culinary Institute of America. <laughs> In it was a <laughs> A Gerber pocket knife. And two shuns. Stand by. All shun. Called a 716. Four inch classic para, they call it. And the other one is. Yeah. 718 Santuco Things are picking up Another fellow just brought me some big heckles and a Woodstock this knife. I ain't never seen one of these before. It says it's a Gehrig made in Germany. Wustoff. Heckle. Heckle. Little teeny heckles. Cool. More knives. Two 40 or 50 year old Cutco's. They got them as wedding gifts when they were married 40 years ago. Cutco. Business is picking up. Stand by. The market is picking up. I'm using a different camera today. I don't know how it's going to turn out. The best of it. I don't think I like the looks of that sign. It's like a major honeydew to me. Good, Googa Mooga. Stand by. I know I don't like it. A rice burner. Well, I just finished up the knives. These are two my buddy from New Jersey sent me. And all the ones I picked up at the hardware store yesterday. Clean the scissors up. Scissors turned out nice. They were in bad shape. Stand by. All right, now if you remember Jimmy D, I told you he found this knife with his detector in Brigantine, on the beach of Brigantine. He's in good shape now. Even the point's still a little crooked, but it's good and sharp, and all the dingus kind of came up. This one that we were interested in, it's got a corkscrew, a screwdriver, a can opener. Uh, it cleaned up really good. Oh, really nice, I guess I should say. Jimmy said this, uh, this came from a captured Italian officer at the Battle of the Bulge, World War II knife. His daddy was with the 7th Armor with Patton. That's where this came from. Italian officer's knife, World War II, Battle of the Bulge. That baby's old. Older than me. Pretty cool ticket, huh? Okay, on with the show.